Yo, plus energy. Hello, how you doing? the jump. Oh no, I missed the coin. I'm upset. I could have made this part a little longer. Well, it's too late now. I think it's fine. The first section is a little longer than the second section, but they're both okay. Casual caverns. Unfortunately, for most people, it's not casual at all. <laughs> but good luck. Try to make it more simplistic. Arrow show thwomp directions. Yes, that is true. Hi, YouTube. Hello. How's everyone doing? From the YouTube verse. Alright, time to explain this slow real quick. I'm not going to say this is my easiest level, but it is an easier level, as noted by the passive in the title. I actually didn't check to see if these party rooms work, so let's actually check out the first party room. Oh wait, no, this is the dev route, hold on. Well, let me show you off the dev route first. Well, here's the dev route. If you not want to beat the level, then you can just do it this way instead for 5 minutes. Anyways, so yeah, you do that for uh, a very long time. <laughs> and then you get to the bottom, and then there's a pipe. But, the pipe doesn't have anything except piggies, so... Alright, let's go to let's go to some of the actual level stuff. So this level doesn't really have a theme. There's not really a theme in this level, it's more like I just wanted to make it it's a very simplistic level because I realized that the more complicated my ideas are, the harder the level tends to be. So I tried to not do that and do really basic stuff like the Womps moving towards you and away from you. And on off switches. Also, there's a lot of coin indicators. Oh, I forgot to put an arrow here. Heck. Anyways, so... As you can see, the arrows are placed right next to the thwomp, which shows you the direction the thwomp is going to go. So that helps with uh, doing this blind. And then there's a little indicator here. I didn't mention in the comments, but... These guys means they have parachutes, so they fall slower, so that way it helps not to bait you. I tell you, oh, this guy's a parachute, and it's going down. So there you go. Oh but yeah, anyways, this this is my best attempt at a very basic level. It kind of gives off that like ROM hacky type of level feel, hopefully. Because those are more basic than Mario Maker. Mario Maker has a lot of more complicated BS. At least with my levels. So that's why there's not too much going on. It's a lot easier to, to discern what's going on in each section. Also, I want to note, shout out to Just Cook. But this is like the first time I've ever used the wing blocks in a level. I've legit never used these blocks in either a Mario Maker level or a 
like a Mario World level. <laughs> so we did that. Look at these coin trails, they're so helpful. And I was actually going to nerf this part, but I decided to buff it. So if you have trouble with this part, I apologize. I, I kept it as is. Moles are kind of weird in this. I don't know how moles work, but yeah, they they try to come up from the ground. I also try to replace everything with munchers too, because munchers also help give off, give off that vibe rather than spikes. Oh yeah, here's the first party room. All right, let's go, let's go and take a trip go. in here. So all these pipes actually take you somewhere. Boom! You get one ups, and you get to see the fish. We'll go. We'll, we'll talk about the fish later. But there's party room number one. Anyways, there's not much to the rest of the first section. Here's the second section. The second section is a vertical section. I don't know what I was doing. I kind of just made it up as I went, but. As you can see where these arrows, all these pipes lead somewhere. Where does this pipe go? Oh, we got the boom boom room. Look at that. And we got a Yoshi. Look at that. Party room number one. And as you can tell, you can't leave, so you gotta use the spike to die. And here's party room number two. You get a 50 coin. Not much to it. You got party room number three. This one's a 30 coin. This one's the weakest of them all. And party room number four. It has a red Yoshi. Ooh. You're gonna make a lot of use of that, right? Actually, probably will make a red Yoshi level in the future. Yeah, you can get in those pipes. The way you get in those pipes is over here. You can get into each of these pipes, I'm pretty sure. And if you can't, then, well, I debated you. But you can at very least get in these two pipes. But yeah, the Thwong, the Thwong expedition continues. I have these nice coin trails to show you where to go. Since a lot of it's kind of blind because of the screen not scrolling high enough, I help you out with the coin trails. So hopefully they help, and hopefully you collect all the coins, because I didn't collect all the coins. This part's hopefully consistent. I didn't have trouble with it, but um, sometimes the moles don't pop out. But hopefully they pop out. And then here, not much is going on. Oh yeah, here's the fish. Alright, so. A little, some lore about this level. So here's a, here's a fish. Here's the troll fish, right? And the fish will kill you if you stand like right here, if you try to go too early. But there is no excuse for you not to know about that because if you look at the level thumbnail, it is right there and it shows you exactly where it is. And I'll tell you 100% that everyone's gonna hit that fish that does this blind. If you don't do this blind and you know the fish is there, you won't hit it. But for people that do it blind, they will hit that fish. So shout out to this fish. And at the very end, I want to point out one more troll. So. Remember how I said uh, the, the arrows show where the thwomps go and that the parachute guys, they have little icons? Well, the very last one is a parachute guy and it doesn't have an icon, so it's the debater. The coin trail says to land here, but you're actually supposed to land like right here. As you can see, the thwomp just stops right there. So that's the last little troll. But wait, there's more! There's one more final troll in this level. He's biking in the pipe. And that is, if you want to get to the end and you jump, this is what happens. You get a face full of fish. So you can avoid that just by not jumping. I'm very curious to see the amount of people that jump over the amount of people that don't jump. I don't know what I would have done if I was in this position. I probably would have maybe jumped, but I might have just held right. But the, anyone that dies to the fish, I'm not sorry. But it would be funny to see. There's a lot of trolls in this level. I'm actually a little sorry. Like, the first section has probably like 10 trolls. The second section is a lot less, but... Yeah, there's a lot of trolls. But that's what you get for playing a passive, uh, passive level. An easier level, more trolls. Harder levels, less trolls. So that's all, that's all we got for this level.
Trolls also add to the Ramak kill, yeah. Please help me get the 69, 69 maker points. I need 60. I'm always hovering around 6900. Let this be the level that brings me to 6900. Or 6969. I'm begging you. 